Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, just kidding. On. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here, and I'm bringing you another AFL video. That's right, two AFL videos in one week. Uh, yes, I'm getting obsessed. So. I am checking out a Patreon request from Nick W. Thank you, Nick, so much. And I appreciate, we appreciate his support, his patronage. And he's got a really great one for us today. And, of course, I'm here solo, but I'm just that much of a fan. I don't got the other guys with me, but I just got to react to some more AFL videos. And he says, hey, guys, with the AFL season about a month away, you might enjoy this little mini documentary about Mason Cox. And I've heard about Mason Cox a current player for Collingwood Magpies, who actually grew up in the USA and hadn't even heard of AFL until he was in college. Hey, we had that in common, but it was a little past my college days when I heard about the AFL. It's a great story, which unfortunately shows some highlights of him dominating my Richmond Tigers in a crucial match. No spoilers, though. Appreciate that. Very well written. Appreciate that request. Appreciate you making sure we are abreast. I love using that word. And not for the silly, you know, five-year-old reason why. I just think it's a great word. Keeping us abreast on the AFL videos and the AFL reactions that you want us to check out. I plan on doing an AFL video at least every week. I'm not ready to commit to a certain day like we have Cricket Tuesday. But it's got to be at least once a week. So if you have a video out there that you want us to react to, I'm trying to avoid the AFL channel just for, you know, copyright issues. But I'm not a completely opposed to it. Get those requests in, please, and help me build my AFL request um, library, I guess. I'm going to start with the Patreons, of course. So, with all that being said, Mason Cox, what do I know about him? Well, what Nick said, he's an American, getting into it. And from what I understand, he's pretty darn good for crying out loud. I'm excited to check out this mini documentary, Mason Cox, Don't Believe in Never. And I want to say that this has been requested at least five or ten times. So for everyone else that requested, thank you so much for letting me know your demand for this. I appreciate that. As I get into this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's any other YouTubers out there that love AFL, go check out their channels too. Let's spread the AFL love. Let's go ahead and get started with this right now. When Mason came to us, no American Mason. player had ever played a senior game of AFL footy. It's a one in whatever you want to call it, because no one had ever done it. They had never had one before? Mason Cox, redshirt senior from okay. Ireland Cowboys, Village, Texas. Oklahoma State. He's only played six minutes all year. I went to Oklahoma State University. So I started out playing basketball when I was a freshman. I've never picked up a basketball in my life, really. We played at the rec center. and. There was a GA at the women's team, and she asked, would you be interested in helping out? Pretty much called the Dream Team, and they played against the women's team and practiced other teams and played against them. I was kind of like, yeah, cool. Like, what do I get out of it? And she goes, oh, we'll give you a free pair of shoes and maybe some kit. And I was like, sweet. The men's team saw me training with the women's team. And one of the coaches said, who's that massive dude who's playing with the women's team? Like, why don't we have someone like that? I was. So I'm going to stop there at 53 seconds just for a second. He sounds like he has... An Aussie accent. I thought this guy was American born. Is one of his parents Australian? Or has he just been in playing Aussie rules for a few years that he's picked it up? Let me see. Mason Cox, born 1991, American professional, Australian rules football player, playing in Ruckman. He was born in Texas. This is so interesting to me. It doesn't say anything here, at least his parents being Australian. Wow. So has he picked up that accent? Which I understand why he would. It says, like, I think 2014 he traveled to Australia. So six years now? I was not expecting that. But am I wrong? I mean, he's got a little bit of that, that Aussie accent. That's cool. All right. I'm going to keep it going. Then way over my head, barely could make a layup, and I was just a body bag. We got a call. They wanted me to go to a LA to try out for this thing called AFL, uh, Aussie Rules Football. And we both looked at each other and was, what the hell is that? And it comes <laughs> up and it's like AFL's biggest hits. Mitchell goes bang and 
I've reacted to a video very similar to that. I remember just kind of looking at him and laughing and going, is this really a sport? <laughs> I'd already accepted a six-figure paying job at ExxonMobil. So I went to wow. the tryouts. Everyone that was there was interested in myself. It became pretty serious pretty quickly. That week, I threw the cap in the air, you know, I got the degree on stage. I made my parents proud. A week later, I flew to Australia and my life changed. The whole concept of me coming to Australia was just to give me a showcase of what AFL was. Saw my first AFL game, Huge. sat next to a North Melbourne player. He explained to me, you know, that's six points. That's a point. Hits the post, it's worth a point. You know, they point the opposite direction whenever they really mean that way. And at the end of it, I remember he goes, okay, cool. So these are the teams that are interested in you. Here's the contracts. Um, let me know what you think. The international rookies are walking what? 211 centimetres, the same height as Aaron Sanderlands. Looks quite exciting. I'm going to start right there. Two minutes, 11 seconds. This guy's got a six-figure paying job to start off at ExxonMobil. That's huge. I know everyone thinks that America is just like got tons and tons of money. And I guess compared to other countries, they do. I'm not going to get into that. But to start off out of college, I would say unless you know somebody, right? Or unless you're going into a very um, you know, expansive field where... Like being a lawyer or being a doctor, you're not going to start off at six figures. You're going to start off at 30, 40, 50,000 if you're lucky to start off. So he had a six figure job waiting for him at ExxonMobil. And he still tries his tryout. And obviously, it ended up turning out, I'm not just talking about money, it ended up really, really well for him. But I mean, I would, I would kind of question, like, I don't even know AFL. What do I have any business going to a combine out there and trying out? And then he gets offered contracts? I mean, he must have had so much natural talent. The guy's teaching him on the side, on the bench. My gosh. All right. I remember getting on the plane. I thought, <laughs> what have I just done? I've just given up five years of hard work and thousands of dollars of education to go play a sport I've never heard of in a place I've never been with no friends or no family in, in Melbourne. That'd be scary. Melbourne. It stuck a in my hand. I thought it was uh, pretty much rugby ball. Like, I had no idea. The kangaroo skin and a Sharon is, like, the name of it. And I don't know. Like, it was all so foreign to me when I first started. He's kicking. He's kicking was quite average. It was a crash course, essentially, of just what AFL was. Craig McRae and Anthony Rocker spent two and a half months with me and come around training the first day. It was sink or swim, really. We do this one drill, and you get a handball off to the coach. And, of course, Box is the one who you're handballing to. Go to handball to him. And I just remember looking at it, and I look back and going, OK, we've got a bit of work to do here. I, like, locked eyes for a second. <laughs> and I could just see in my mind, just, what have we recruited? Players generally have a lot going on, but Mason's still trying to work out this new game, whether he fits, if he fits. Am I embarrassing myself? But at the end of the year, I got to the point where I was thinking, I might actually feel comfortable in an AFL game. Wow. After one season? This was the first one to tell me. They came out and said, look, you're going to debut. And that week was a massive week. It's Anzac Day, obviously. And it's one of the biggest games of the year. The crowd's 90,000 plus. The stadium is massive. It just Woo. leans over the top of it. Yeah, like Tristan, you can feel it. enough. I walked out there and I was ready to puke. I was that nervous. I was freaking out, you know. I didn't know what to do. And I was thinking, don't screw up. Just whatever you do, don't screw up. Don't screw up. More low trajectory kick. Oh, this could be a parent. Oh, mate, he's shitting himself. And I can't imagine what it's like to try and <laughs> drop the ball that extra foot and a half to get it onto your foot. My hands would have been like this, holding that ball. Mason Cox. Six. Wow. Look at the teammates. Not that he's huge. We needed to keep him grounded, but it was our job to keep him grounded. It's bloody hard. It's a big step from the VFL footy that he was playing to playing AFL footy. At the end of 17, I was playing VFL, oh. you know, I'd gotten dropped a few times, we were playing small. He had to set himself a new goal of being one of the best forwards in the competition. Saturday night football at the Coliseum. Come through Cox, drops what he should have taken. Oh. Uh, Couldn't quite get at the big fella. Mason Cox here, guys. Uh, this was just off the ball. I had the worst game of my career. Ooh. I can probably say that pretty comfortably. I don't think I had a single mark the whole game. And 
had maybe six touches or something and get suspended for the next week. Probably a low moment in my life, I'd say, of thinking, do I choose the right decision? Five minutes, six seconds. I can feel the electricity building up. I can feel the anticipation inside my body building up. And I don't know this story. I have no idea. I'm assuming it ends well, but I have no idea. But I can feel like like I'm watching a movie. Like the anticipation is getting big within me. And I, I find myself can't wait to find out what happens next. This is crazy. I mean, I'm just, I'm loving this. I am actually loving this. Let's, let's, let's finish this off. Let's see. I said, you know what? Tough. This is a last ditch effort to show him what you're worth, to show him you can do this as a job. This is your career that you want to do for the rest of your life. So he's obviously all in. What he's falling in love with it. This tiger has become on and off the field. Is this your team, Nick? Richmond? We played Richmond twice and been overrun twice through the year. Excuse this could me? be the biggest game that Mason Cox never gets a kick in. Prelim final, MCG. MCG. You know that place. It happened pretty early. Woo! It was in. It was clunk, clunk, clunk. Nice mark there. Oh, look at the face! Show who you are today! His hands are on, mate. They, they, they just stuck. He's the biggest guy out there. You see why you want to bring a basketball player. There's <laughs> dead. Wow. You have pictured that four years, five years earlier with goosebumps inside my body right now. Um, definitely not. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Wow. I don't believe in I don't believe in Stomped people on. setting limitations on others. I think you're motivated enough and you care enough or that determined to get to wherever you want <laughs> to go. He's got a Space it's Jam shirt on right there. Don't believe in never. Woo! You can't write the script any better. Well, you could have. We could have won the grand final. Imagine that story. <laughs> I like that. Wow. Oh, man, that was nice. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm... I'm getting emotional about it. I mean, that is, that is awesome. I mean, you're talking, I mean, take away the fact that he, he just, just he got a contract alone is fantastic. The guy was being told about how the points work at his combine right there. I think it was Adelaide in Australia. I mean, that's crazy. He spends a year in whatever the developmental VFL, whatever that was, league. And then he goes right there. And he stumbles and he stumbles for years. What, three years? Stumbles and stumbles. People saying, get him out of here. Experiment failed. Hats off to the coaches for keeping him in there all that time, for having the belief. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, why a basketball player of all things? Maybe a football player from America. Why a basketball Duh, you dummy. The, the marks. Contested marks, uncontested marks, whatever it is. The height. Can he have the hands to grab that footy right there? But that's why a basketball player... And basketball players are extremely athletic. Extreme. You think it's easy? Getting that mark is very similar to getting a rebound. They're not letting you have... Go ahead, get the rebound. We're not going to stop you. They're going to get those elbows out there. It's, phys it's a physical game, basketball is. So... I see where the, the translation of the skills is, but he's the first time ever an American came to the AFL? Wow. I mean, I'm still pumped up about this. That was a, it's a mini one. I know there's a longer one, I think, on AFL. I'm going to be watching that on my own. But that was fantastic. And, you know, Mason Cox, I know you're not watching this, but if you are, two thumbs up from Nick right here. Rooting for you. I have not picked my AFL team yet. Might be pulling on my heartstrings a little bit. Collingsworth, maybe just a little bit. The Magpies, what a great name.
Wow. Is that his nickname? The Lanky Yankee? I see it on someone else's video. That was awesome. That was absolutely fantastic. I loved watching that. Nick, you are the man for requesting that. And I wish this guy all the best of luck. If this is your first time checking out a reaction of mine on Born Reviews, thank you so much for checking it out. If you enjoyed it, I have some other AFL videos, maybe 10 now or so. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Check out those. Go ahead and give this video a like if you liked it. Whether you're subscribed or not, that would, I would really appreciate that. And there'll be more coming, I promise you. But until next time, adios.